Welcome back. You're watching KU TV on the spot on this 17th of July 2021. Uh, well, it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. We uh, will be engaging fighters who participated in LFN4. But uh, remember, uh, I had promised you earlier that I'll be bringing on board uh, the president of uh, LFN, that is Mr. Stephen Omwenga, and he is in the building. I know this is not the first time you'll be seeing him right here on KU TV on the spot, but for those who are seeing him, for the first time let him introduce um himself for you uh, to you guys and also those who are fighters and would want to actually know who is this guy who is uh who is um changing mixed martial arts in the country uh president thank you again for coming uh today thank you Lawrence, for having me again yes uh Vios, as you've heard, my name is Steven Umwenga. I'm uh, the president of LFNE Championship. Uh, LFNE is a mixed martial arts promotion company that has come into the local scenes to bring structure into the sport of mixed martial arts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe there are those who will ask why mixed martial arts. Well, uh, mixed martial arts is a very interesting uh, uh, fighting discipline. And... Uh, Personally, I've always had the passion for martial arts. I'm a martial arts enthusiast. And uh, of course, uh, for now the main objective for coming up with the mixed martial arts is actually to try and give all the fighters a platform whereby they can showcase uh, their talent. This has actually been done and we've already held uh, four uh, series of uh, LFNE, which have all been a success. Our latest was uh, in Meru. The Meru guys received us very well. Yes. The KU team was wonderful. LFNE, we put up a great show. And of course, uh, the fighters, the fighters gave uh, the best. And mm -hmm. now we crowned three champions and they're very happy. Yes. yes. Indeed, it was a very uh, amazing time in Meru. But uh, a lot of guys would ask why Meru and is this the beginning uh, of uh, LFNE visiting different counties from now henceforth? Uh, well, uh, as LFNE, we have this uh, objective of actually getting fighters from uh, the grassroots, going to the fighters where they are. So our one of our objective was to actually go to all the 47 counties to make sure that we tap talent from all the counties in a balanced manner. We started, uh, of course, with from Nairobi, and uh, we held uh, three shows in Nairobi. After that, now it was a time for us to test the counties and see what the counties have got to offer. Mm -hmm. So uh, apparently, Mary became the first note because of any particular reason it's because uh by coincidence we had uh, i had a friend from meru mudara primary school called uh, mugambi uh he's a mixed martial arts uh, trainer and he's a gentleman so we decided let's start with meru because the fighters were ready mm -hmm. and uh those fighters came out in uh they gave a good show they came out strong the, despite the fact that most of our um, Nairobi guys already had experience in the cage and all that, so they had an advantage over the Meru uh, fighters. But uh, we saw what the Meru people are made of. Yeah. They, there was a knockout from uh, the lady, Lena Kenya. Yeah. She knocked out a Nairobi fighter, mm -hmm. which which was a great development. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there is a lot of talent uh, in Meru County as far your observation. Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, even the guys who fought, despite the fact that they lost it doesn't mean that they are bad fighters uh, i've seen the social me media is quite uh, active and uh, mugambi has already said that uh, fear the comeback mm -hmm. now they're going to come back with force with pressure mm -hmm. our nairobi guys should not get confident that they defeated these guys they're going to come back and they're going to give a great show lfne 5 is around the corner we will be announcing the dates and uh definitely these guys are going to showcase uh what they have gone back the mistakes they uh they learned from lfne 4 mm -hmm. they are going to make sure that uh, in lfne 5 everything is actually ironed out and mm -hmm. they're going to give a great show mm -hmm. yes it must have been challenging taking the the fight uh, away from Nairobi, logistic-wise and other things. What are some of the challenges that you you faced just to make sure that this show came uh, together the way it did? Uh, well, uh, basically the challenges are there were not so many because uh, we were prepared. The only challenge would be like uh, getting out of Nairobi, then going to a venue outside Nairobi to the county level. 
most of the places are not so much developed and of course you expect uh, to find uh, a bit of challenges here and there especially when we arrived there there was a challenge with power but uh, we were able to fix that uh, before the show started and uh, the locals were overwhelmed they didn't know what was going on mm-hmm. and but when they saw uh, what happened and the school administration they were so excited that we took it to Meru and in a remote area Mudara. Mm-hmm. So we were able to put a good show and uh, that is actually to show to the world and Kenya that uh, we were able to put a show anywhere in this country mm-hmm. despite those challenge, logistical challenges of not knowing what to expect at a particular venue. But then uh, this being our first stop in the counties, we learned a lot and I'm sure the future events that we are going to put up in counties are going to be much, much more uh, aggressive and developed uh, than what we had in Meru. Mm-hmm. Yes. We've seen uh, LFD and mixed martial arts gaining a lot of traction. We saw uh, a token of appreciation from Leona Lifestyle Center. Uh, tell us what was that all about and how does LFD and Leona uh, partner? Uh, after our LFNE 2, we had to upgrade a little bit and uh, we looked for a place where we could put uh, uh, the fighters to training. And that's how uh, our coordinator, Calvin Soma, uh, spoke to the management of Leona and they allowed us to use their gym. Uh, we paid subscription for the fighters to train in at Leona gym. And day by day, the management got to appreciate what LFNE was doing with these young fighters. So towards the uh, end of the training in preparation for LFNE4, uh, the director of uh, Leona, Mr. Simon, approached me and said that uh, we would like to be part of this uh, LFNE. We want to come to Meru to see practically what these guys are doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, when they're in the training camp, when they're training at the gym, you'll go there and see, you can't really figure out how it's going to be until you watch live. So when uh, Simon came down to Meru, he watched the event. He was very excited and very happy. So definitely he promised to award all the winners with a small token of appreciation. It's basically a token of appreciation. But that is an indication, a show of things to come because he's very much willing to work with LFNE. He said he's going to improve the gym. He's going to ensure that more equipments are put in place. And those are the kind of partnerships we are looking for. People who can come and ensure that LFNE meets its objective of actually bringing out all these fighters that are just behind the scenes Mm -hmm. that out there but they do not have the platform to showcase exactly what they got Mm -hmm. Uh, very impressive Uh, how did this make the fighters uh, feel Uh, yeah I saw they were a bit happy but such partnerships are they changing the mood at camp well uh, at the moment the fighters are on uh, uh, let's say recess because uh, immediately after every major event i always recommend the fighters to take some time off because they need to recover they need to regain uh, their muscle strength and all that so but for the few who are there for the award on that particular day uh, i was able to ride with them around and uh, they were very excited and they were happy the fact that leon has also come in mm-hmm. to give a token and i'm hoping that uh, when they resume camp they, we are going to get new terms and they're going to see that uh, the gym has been improved greatly and with uh, the kind of partnership that uh, Simon wants to come on board with most definitely we are looking at a brighter future for LFNE mm-hmm. yes so when are they expected to come back uh, to training and uh, is training going to be any different time or you'll still continue with Ulem uh, Tindot we are looking at uh, maybe in uh, two weeks time probably but uh, it depends with a number of factors here and there. Mm-hmm. But as soon as uh, we are ready for them to resume the training, we'll communicate to the fighters to come in camp. And of course, now the training is going to be much, much more vigorous. Uh, apart from the three champions who are actually encouraged to continue training despite the fact that uh, they are not uh, back to the training camp yeah. because they are scheduled to travel uh, very soon. So the rest, when they come back to training, uh, I'm sure they are going to get uh, much, much more uh, 
excited and to see the improvements that are going to be done. Mm-hmm. Quite yes. impressive. I know you will be also trying to have uh, a fighter who is an all-rounder, a fighter who can uh, communicate properly with the media, uh, a fighter who is basically a brand. Uh, I've seen also other media houses are catching up with what KUTV is doing by now actually realizing there's something big happening with LFNE. There's something happening. We have mixed martial arts that at least Econom Pangilio. So what are some of these opportunities, especially uh, in terms of publicity? Uh, has uh, The fact that KUTV has been showing uh, these fights, how has this contributed in build, building uh, the fighters brands you know for a very long time we can say that uh, the fighters who are out there they've been uh, participating in smaller shows like uh, they're doing one particular martial arts discipline let's mm-hmm. say karate taekwondo or any other discipline but uh, they have never been uh, broadcast live they have never been taken to the world to see them yeah. but uh, with our partnership with the KUTV they have always come in uh, in handy they are putting the, the, they are creating actually building the profiles of these fighters mm-hmm. most of the fighters are now known i'm sure if uh, after our LFNE4 there's a clip that is going around where there were some guys in the kitchen watching live uh show on on the spot yeah. on saturday yeah. they were very excited that is the kind of enthusiasm that is out there mm-hmm. so the fighters are very happy the fact that uh, KUTV is helping them build their profile people are getting to know LFNE people are getting to know the fighters individually they are identifying some of them when they walk around the streets uh they're told that okay we saw you are uh, on live on air we mm-hmm. saw you fighting live and we want you to continue that may, many more mm-hmm. so uh, apart from that uh, KUTV that uh, we also have the international platform yes. where Ayozat was also beaming it live so on pay-per-view so that is also an international uh, platform that uh, the fighters are going to get well, the whole concept is to ensure that the brand of these fighters is actually built strongly mm-hmm. and they are going to match the world class so anybody can be scouted anytime any fighter can be scouted anytime by some of the very well developed uh, uh, martial arts uh, c- promotion companies mm-hmm. yes i saw that clip uh, where um people in kitchen i think it was a restaurant were cheering on odino and they were very happy uh, that he actually uh, won this shows that indeed there is there's a lot of uh, fan base for mixed martial arts as lfd what are you doing to bring this fan base together to a point i saw odino is so loved to a point that he had a traveling conti- a contingent of fans traveled to meru uh, with complete banners and uh, t-shirts with his face on meaning we th- th- there's a fan base for some of these fighters and for uh, mixed martial arts as a whole. What is LFNE doing to ensure that we bring this fan base together and we push the sport of uh, mixed martial arts together? Uh, for the fan base, the fan base has always been there. The only challenge that has been there is that uh, the fighters have not had an opportunity. They've never had a platform where they can actually put up shows. Now LFN is here and uh, they're putting up shows. And uh, I like the fact that Odino does his own branding. He has actually spoken to his team yeah is uh, attracting his own crowd lfne is providing a platform but ultimately the fighter is the person who can bring together all the the fans yeah, because yeah. Uh, as lfne we cannot go out there and tell the fans now come and support so and so no mm-hmm. but the fighter can build his own brand if he wants any assistance from uh, lfne we can help him create a brand whereby he can print his own t-shirts bring mm-hmm. his fan base and uh, as lfne what we are doing right now we are trying to go public we are trying to publicize the events so immediately after our leona uh, show where the token of appreciation were awarded to the fighters uh, we were invited to k24 where we went uh, with the champions and uh, we were on the show called jungula sporty it's uh, it's there online you can check it out at k24 uh, they were very excited to know that uh, mixed martial arts is here currently Mm -hmm. and uh, to crown it up and to give more motivation we know that uh, the world's uh, highest paid athlete is actually Conor McGregor Mm -hmm. who is uh, a fighter a UFC fighter and uh, that shows that uh, in the line of fighting there's a lot of money there's a lot of talent there's a lot that can be achieved and of course we don't leave out our three African uh, champions at the UFC so this is a great platform and my request 
is that uh, all the fans kindly support your guys support your fighters this is a platform that is, is here to just showcase to bring them out once they're out there it's upon you the fans mm. to make sure that these guys are growing their brand to make sure that these guys are transforming their lives from their talent mm -hmm. yes there are opportunities thanks to partnerships that you've actually uh, had with international uh, people who are involved in mixed martial arts what are some of the opportunities that have come up especially after lfne4 well after lfne4 we had uh just in the build-up to lfne4 we had a good interview with uh, which you actually conducted with uh, jordan j adams he had indicated that he was going to get our fighters out there and showcase what they got so we have collapse for uh, turkey there's an event that is going to happen in turkey on 21st of august and uh, we are hoping that uh, the corona situation does not affect this mm -hmm. so we the three champions that is william odino felistas mugo and uh, just for fuller they are going to be out there they're going to showcase they're going to represent the country yeah. so in the next few weeks we are going to be knocking doors to make sure that we get mm -hmm. people we get corporates to sponsor these events we yeah. get uh, guys to uh ensure that these fighters are, go out there to actually represent the the country mm -hmm. then besides that uh, also jordan had uh, given an indication that uh, within a uh, frame of a month or two uh, or maybe after the turkey travel we are also going to take a few of our fighters to florida mm -hmm. to go and like show their talent and visit some of the ufc training academies uh, also showcase their talent to some of the promotions in the United States. Yeah. So there's so many opportunities that are coming up simply because uh, we are putting out these uh, fighters out there. KUTV is showcasing these fighters. LFN is ensuring, ensuring that the platform is there so that uh, the fighters can go out there and showcase what they got. Mm -hmm. You never know what tomorrow brings. It's mm -hmm. always a bright future. Mm -hmm. yes. What do you think of this? Uh, you know, when, when we leave the borders of this country, the territory called Kenya, you will go out there and fight as an individual, but at the end of the day, you're Kenyan and you will uh, willingly or unwillingly or knowingly or unknowingly, you will be flying the country's flag um, high. Uh, what sort of competition do you think that after what we saw in Meru, that they actually have what it takes to go out there and kick some, I don't want to say somewhat, but <laughs> um, do you think the talent is so? They, uh, our fighters have what it takes to go out there and actually uh, win some fights. Uh, well, uh, I can't say all the fighters are ready. Yeah. Of course, there are fighters who need uh, a lot to be done. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can still uh, focus on uh, my three champs. Yes. The champs are ready. Yeah, Wafula is a very, very determined uh, character. He's a guy with a lot of discipline and is somebody, if you come to the gym, whether it's at Leona or individually, he's a very disciplined guy. Mm -hmm. So when he goes out there, though he has told me that his challenger was really tough this time yes. but uh, that is of course a good uh, good show mm -hmm. so yes we have the ability we have the capacity to go out there and make sure that uh, we are actually competing with the the best in the world mm -hmm. uh william odino is i've always referred to him as a knockout man but this time round he was really yes he won by knockout but then uh, he was stretched, he was a, stretched bit. a bit. Yeah. He, he won at the third round. Now that shows what kind of fighters we got. Yeah. So yes, our fighters are good. They are ready. They are determined. And uh, all I can say is that when they go, they get this international platform. Don't go out there and freeze because of the kind of facilities you see. Yeah. You know some of the things that affect our fighters is, is the so-called culture shock. Mm -hmm. You leave the country and go out there, then you find that it's a whole new platform. So you, instead of focusing on the fight mm -hmm. you actually uh, lose interest or rather you're defeated because of the culture shock what mm -hmm. you get out there mm -hmm. so this should not really happen to our fighters they are ready and they're going to uh, put up a good show i'm sure and uh, who knows they might even win by knockout you know yeah. you never know Odina is a very tough guy mm -hmm. then uh felista felista is uh, very determined mm -hmm. she went into lfne4 not knowing what the challenger would bring on board because the challenger had already made it clear that that belt has to go back but uh, through sheer determination and the courage she had and the training she undergoes uh, she made sure that she retained it mm -hmm. she took it back home so yes. for how long will they be uh, in turkey 
Uh, well, it's uh, the event is a one day event, mm-hmm. so I'm looking at uh, about at most three four days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because maybe they travel earlier, then they go hold half the event, then maybe the following day they're back. So uh, about four days. But mm-hmm. uh, the actual program I'm going to discuss in detail, and uh, we'll should be able to communicate it in due course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, quite impressive. So yes. uh, guys out there, if you're looking, you know we've been talking about about ad- adapting a fighter, and it's it's not only individuals who actually can adapt a fighter. These uh, fighters have the capability and ability of representing your brands out there. So corporates out there, kuna watu nguvu wapa who can actually carry uh, your brand all the way to Turkey. Uh, if people want to, to to reach out to you, because uh, to reach out to the fighters, you have to reach out to LFN. How do they get uh, to you, Mr. President? Uh, thanks for that. Uh, actually, for now, for the fans, we've always run this campaign of uh, adapting a fighter. So you can adapt any fighter, not only the champions who are going to Turkey. And if you want to adapt any particular fighter, the procedure is very simple. Uh, you just uh, go to pay bill number 4045269, then send any amount that you feel you can support this fighter with. And then uh, the account, you put the name of the fighter you're adapting. And for those ones who want to reach to us LFNE directly, you can uh, reach us through WhatsApp or call on the number 0795-980808. So that one will get you directly to us so that uh, you can communicate to us anytime that uh, you want to adapt some of these uh, uh, fighters. And also, better still, if for the fans and the viewers of KUTV, you can simply reach out to KUTV directly. Mm -hmm. They are our media partners. Any communication to KUTV reaches LFNE directly. Mm -hmm. So that is a good partnership. Yeah, they're saying you repeat the number. Okay, the number for uh, LFNE is 0795 98 0808 it's very simple. It has eights and zeros. Yes, yes. a lot of them. Uh, so to adapt a fighter, you can send any amount of money to 4045269. And the account name is the fighter uh, who you are adapting by sending any amount of money to that pay bill number. Also, uh, again, to reach out to LFNE, um, 0795 Also, as the president said, reach out to KUTV and we'll make sure that uh, the information gets uh, directly to <coughs> the uh, president that is Ele- uh, LFNE president. A lot of guys watching on our live stream, uh, Rosemary Gadage uh, and Asema watching with all the love. Thank you so much. Mtoto Mariam, uh, my co host in Meru, is watching from Runda. <laughs> Ah, uh, Muiti Midika Kenya is also watching. Uh, Amando Shak Mohammed uh, saying he's watching live. Team Marvin, uh, Team Marvin is saying Flo is Marvin Jr., your all-time photographer tuned in. What's up, Marvin? Thank you for amazing photographs. Uh, Mili Nyatichi O is saying he's proud of you, bro. That is uh, proud of LFN president for uh, work uh, well done. Remember, you are watching KUTV on the sport. We are back in studio after, uh, well, heading to Meru County last weekend. And I know you guys did enjoy the show. It was longer. It was four hours. It actually started earlier, earlier than, uh, than usual. We were live for over four hours and it was amazing. Bout after bout, uh, it was getting interesting. The uh, adrenaline was very high. The excitement from Meru people and also all our fans was actually amazing here in kenya and also elsewhere in the world where people are watching uh, via iozat uh, so keep it right here as we keep you informed on uh, mixed martial arts and other sporting disciplines uh, well we will be um head due to COVID 19 we have not been able to uh, arrange a lot of um, live programs but that uh, we'll be ending soon uh, because uh, when all things settle, we'll go out there and cover the footballs, the rugby's, everything that we need to cover so that we can uh, showcase uh, talent, uh, uh, sporting talent in the country. Let's talk about LFN5 before I let you go. Uh, what is in the store? Do we have the dates? Uh, where will it be? Uh LFN5 preparations are already underway and uh, we are looking at a tentative date of uh, 
11th of September for the venue and uh, I know it's the venue is going to be somewhere in Nairobi but we'll be able to communicate uh, in subsequent uh, programming on the particular venue but uh, yes 11th of September LFN5 we already have uh, probably two matchups because uh, we have Eli- Elijah Kingi who is really being for Odino's blood yeah. so that is already our first match mm-hmm. then uh, Elijah King. Whoever fought with Odino. Odino, yes. He wants to fight Odino or Wafula. He wants to fight Odino again. again. He wants okay, a, rematch, a rematch. A rematch, yes, because uh, he will be here on set, and yes. make, I'm sure he's going to say why he wants Odino again, mm-hmm. because he feels uh, Odino didn't win clearly. Mm-hmm. So he feels that uh, he's a better man than Odino. But mm-hmm. then Odino says otherwise, yes. because uh, I've interacted with Odino. I told him your challenge is wants to wants a rematch with you mm-hmm. and that is already our first match of uh are, at least we know we know we'll that be. is yes we'll face odino <laughs> yes. we already have that much uh, rematch done and then uh, of course there are good fighters that i saw good talent and uh the likes of victor and mm-hmm. he wants a title yes and uh i'm thinking of giving my title event with bernard masharia mm-hmm. that two great fighters yes that bernard is masharia serious. also uh won yes, very won. quickly they both won with knockouts yeah and they're in the same weight category that so is that to be is fire. going to be fire so, i cannot wait so under if you're watching uh mashari if you're watching you have a title event yeah so you guys uh make sure that your fans know about this spread the word mm-hmm. yes. actually uh director is my director is asking do you choose your opponent or who chooses an opponent for the earth uh well uh there's a, a team of coaches mm-hmm. that uh, take these uh, fighters through vigorous training and all that so for choosing the opponent is not uh, the president's main responsibility yeah. i can only recommend no change this with this but uh, the coaches we have the overall coordinator they sit down they watch the fights and uh, because lfn is still a uh, like a young company we now have we don't have much much like a pool of fighters to choose from yeah. so creating matchups is very very easy mm-hmm. and uh so it becomes like the way the person is showing and of course we are now going into the international uh, requirements we are facing the rules mm-hmm. so we have to match the fighters with uh, the right uh, weight category and all that so it's a uh, a team of uh, coaches yeah. and the coordinator and mm-hmm. myself we are the people who decide and ultimately i have to approve that yes mm-hmm. that is okay and finally the team doctor has to say this the fighters are okay mm-hmm. he has to check their pressure he has to mm-hmm. check the well-being mental well-being mm-hmm. and everything to ensure that they are good All right. Yes. I hope uh, I hope you've had that. Uh, well, 11th of September is the date for uh, LF5 and uh, it will be held here in Nairobi and most definitely it will be live right on KU TV on the sport. Mark that date on your calendar. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We will be telling you the venue where all roads. Let me tell you guys, um If you're not there physically, at least you have an opportunity to watch it on KU TV, on television and also on our social media platform especially on Facebook. But on a particular day if you can make it to the venue if it will be allowed uh because you're still fighting uh this invisible enemy called COVID-19. But if you can make it to the venue you uh, will be thoroughly entertained. Our fighters are very um aggressive in a, in a nice way very optimistic they are very goal oriented if you know they came here and they were like you know i wouldn't take a lot of time and they actually did what uh, what they actually promised you guys so um well all we, all i can tell you is that lf25 is going to be moto just like lf24 and all other editions well that has been uh, mr steven mwanga lf president uh, talking to us we hope to be getting him on set uh, more often because uh, well mixed martial arts in kenya is growing so should our love for the sport uh, and uh, hopefully you get to adapt your fighter ile kukuja kwa event you actually know who you are supporting uh, i can see you have a branded uh, cape i know you have other merchandise uh, where do, do do we get this ones for example if i want to to buy a lefeni uh, merchandise or a fan there out there want those merch- where do I, how and where do i get them? Uh, for uh, the fans who want to get uh, our merchandise the number is as indicated you can call the LFN number uh, 0795980808 so that uh, you can uh, 
order for any any merchandise that you need uh you can also just go to our facebook page lfne championship uh our twitter at uh, lfnec uh instagram lfne championship then you'll find all the merchandise displayed there you can order by simply paying uh the price tag for that uh, merchandise to the pay bill number 4045269 then the account put the item that you are buying mm -hmm. that is it's a uh, it's almost as adapting a fighter but now this time you're, you're not a, a yes you're not adapting a merchandise you're, you're ordering a merchandise yes, mm -hmm. yes. thank you all right uh, that is uh, mr steven umwanga thank you so much for uh talking to it's us well and glad you're still watching KUTV on the spot because two of the fighters kingi uh ambaye lipigana na odino well he lost but well he gave an account of himself and he wants a rematch the more uh why we should have him on set this saturday afternoon the champ himself uh o, o, um wafula is also in the building and i'll be getting them on set in a couple of minutes but for now let's take a very short break KUTV on the spot will be uh back shortly Thank you.